Hi, in this video we are going to go over the basic AutoCAD 2011 interface and kind of some of the basic things you need to know in order to start drawing and using it. <clears throat> First of all, starting at the top, this A button, this is kind of like our file menu. It has our new, open, save, save as, print. Uh, it has a list of files that we've used recently. It has an options box which we'll talk about more later on. The, most of these same things are found up here in the quick launch bar. <clears throat> also right here in the quick launch is our workspace settings. So in this class, and we're going to stay in this 2D drafting annotation. But once we move on, we can go into 3D basics, 3D modeling, or you can go back to the, the classic look with toolbars all over the place. Over here, this little arrow gives you more options. And so one of these options is show menu bar. And this menu bar here shows just about every command there is in AutoCAD um, through some of the, the different areas. So if you're looking for something and you can't find it, you might want to turn that on and find it. Um, <coughs> so over here, this right here is the help. So if you go in there and you type something in, it'll search through the help and come up and show you it. This whole area below that is the ribbon. So the ribbon contains most of the commands we use most often. Um, and then separated into tabs, so we have the home tab, the insert tab, annotate, view, and those are the, the three that we use most, or the four that we use, use most often. We also have this express tools over here, which has some other commands that are kind of specialty commands um, that have been built over the years by people. But most of the time we stay in this home tab. And in the tab, we have panels. So we have the draw panel, modify panel, layers. They kind of break down the commands even more into more specific groups. So the draw has all the drawing commands. Modify has ones that modify existing geometry. Layers lets you break up geometry based on different properties. Annotation, kind of some of the stuff that's in the annotate tab, but the ones you use most often. Block has stuff from the insert tab. <coughs> So you can kind of see it's grouping it there so you can get to it pretty easily. Utilities has the measure options, so distance, area. If you get into 3D, then you can do volumes. And it has places to get to the clipboard also. Below that, in this black space, this is called our model space. And this is where we actually do our drawing. Um, <coughs> you can see it's got a little grid on there. Um, if you use your mouse wheel and you push it forward, you zoom in. If you pull it back, you zoom out, and wherever you point is what kind of where it's going to go to. If you press the mouse wheel and just hold it down, you kind of move side to side, and that's called panning. So we use the zooming in, in and out and panning a lot to position what we're working on on the screen. <coughs> Below the, the drawing area, we have our tabs, and right now we're in model space, so the model tab is highlighted. And this is where we do more, all of our actual geometry drawing for whatever we're doing. The layouts, these are like our piece of paper. So you can see now it actually looks like a piece of paper, it doesn't go on forever. And then in that, it has this little rectangle, and that's called a viewport, and that's looking back into model space. So usually out in paper space, and I'm just double clicking to switch. But in paper space, we'd have our title block and our notes and things like that. And then in the model space, that's where we show our actual drawing and we put our dimensions here so that it'll scale it correctly to, the, to our viewport or to our layout. Below that is the command line. You can see the command line is showing me kind of what I'm doing. If I press F2, it kind of brings up the history of everything I've done. F2 again, it goes away. So you really want to look at the command line, um, especially the bottom line right here, but also usually the line or two above it. Some commands will give you stuff above it, but this bottom line is going to really tell you what AutoCAD wants you to do next. So if I go into a command, and I'm going to go into the line command, and I'm just going to click on it on the ribbon. That's one way to do it. And so it's telling me that it started the line command, and it wants me to specify the first point. So I can click my first point. And then I can come over and click another point, pick another point. And you can see 
Before, in the brackets, it just had one option, it just said undo. Now it has two options, close or undo. So let me click another point. If I type the U, it's just going to undo that last segment. If I type C, it will close that shape. And that U undo is different than going up here and hitting undo, because this undo will do, undo that whole last command. See that everything away, not just that last segment. So kind of you want to watch kind of how you're doing your undos and watch the options down there in the command line. It'll really tell you what you want to do. Uh, you can also get to commands by typing them. So most commands you just type the name of it and it'll go so like line, enter. Anytime you type something you have to press enter afterwards. And the space bar counts the same as enter. So now I'm back in the line command. If I want to get out of a command I can just hit escape and it'll get me out of it right there. Some commands, if it's a series of options, um, if I hit escape, it'll just cancel everything and undo everything I've done. Um, so some I have to hit enter to, to finish and get out of also. And we'll talk about that as we go through the different commands. <clears throat> Down here we have our coordinates. So you can see I was zoomed out really far, so my coordinates are moving a lot. This right here, this x, y, that's our origin. So if I move real close to that, it's getting close to 0, comma 0 on the XY. You can see pretty close. And I can move it around in the X and the Y axis. These next buttons here are kind of status indicators. So our grid, if I press this, it turns off the grid, turn it back on. F7 will do the same thing. Polar tracking, object snaps, we'll talk about it later. Object snaps, F3 turns them on and off. You can see on the command line it's telling you that it's turning them on and off. This one right here is dynamic entry. <clears throat> so right now, by my cursor, I have the same thing that shows up down on the command line. If I turn dynamic off, then I don't have it there. And there's some other little things that go along with that. And we'll talk about that um, when we talk about coordinates and entry, things like that. But usually I like to leave that on. Over here on the right, there's some other options. Um, that have to do with your layouts and some annotation things. So if I go to the layout, I go into the viewport. Now I've got a couple. One right here, this is the viewport scale. This is the one next to it is the lock button. Let me just lock the viewport at that scale. So here if I have it unlocked, it zooms inside the viewport. If I lock it, now it zooms kind of the whole viewport and layout together. This model's right here, just a switch between model and paper, but I can double click to do the same thing. And that's it for this section, and we'll continue on next week.